Hi guys, how are you there? I hope all of you are having a wonderful day. Once again, welcome back to EP Science Virtual Class. And this is Jendrox Educator TV, your host for today. Are you guys ready? For today's video, you are going to learn about the different units of measurement with conversion factor. But before that, let's have a short review about the different physical quantities and their units. Do you still remember what are those physical quantities and their units? Now, let's summarize what are those physical quantities and its corresponding unit. Those physical quantities are length, time, temperature, mass, and electric current. And what are those standard units? For length, we have meter. For time, we have seconds. For mass, we have kilogram. For temperature, we have Kelvin. For electric current, we have ampere. I hope you will always remember those physical quantities with its standard unit and measuring instrument before we move to our new topic regarding different measuring units and conversion factor. For this topic, we are going to focus about familiarizing different units of measurement and solving numbers using different conversion factor. Alright guys, I have a question. If someone would ask you, what is the length and width of your table? How are you going to answer that one? Sometimes, we we'll spend about I don't know. I don't have any measuring instrument. How are you going to do that? What should we do? That question will be solved if we are going to do something by using any measuring instrument. It could be using a ruler or a metal stick, right? How many kilometers is your home from the school? And how long? How many hours would it take? How are you going to answer? Sometimes you said, I don't know. Of course, we think something about the different measuring instrument when it comes to length and time. Is that right? So we need to use a measuring instrument like our watch or a clock or it could be estimated length like meters or kilometers one of the most important thing that we need to know is all about conversion of units because of that situation we have to learn about the different conversion of units okay so what is the purpose why do we have such conversion of unit how are we going to convert about the unit of length time, volume, and mass. So, here are the list. What are those basic units of measurement? What do you mean by the word conversion factor? And that is what for? A conversion factor is a number used to change one set of units to another by multiplying or dividing those numbers. And why is that important? So, to learn a conversion factor, it is very important because it applies the appropriate conversion to an equal value. See, for example, by converting inches to feet, kilometers to meter. Another example, the conversion value of meter stick. So, how many centimeters in one meter? So, there are equivalent to 100 centimeters. The conversion value of 1 kilometer, how many meters? So, there are 1,000 meters. Alright? So, those are the important conversion value of those measuring units on how to convert those numbers time guys we are going to focus about the different basic units of measurement what are those basic units of measurement that we need to learn today we have time 
time, length, length, mass, mass, volume, volume. So these are four basic that we are going to learn for today. What are those indicators and units when we talk about the measuring of time? These are in one minute is equal to 60 seconds. In one hour is equal to 60 minutes. In one day is equal to 24 hours. In seven days is equal to one week. In one month is equal to 28 to 31 days. And in one year is equal to 12 months. All right, guys, what about measuring length? What are the units and its indicator? So remember, guys, under the measuring of length, in one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. In one meter is equal to 100 centimeter. In one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. In one yard is equal to 3 feet. In one mile is equal to 1.609 kilometers. Now let us move to another unit of measurement. This is what we call mass. So what are those indicators and its unit? We have in one kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. In one gram is equal to 1000 milligram. In one pound is equal to 16 ounces. In one ton is equal to 1000 kilogram. Another measuring unit we have volume. Volume. So what are those indicators and its units? These are in one liter there are 1000 milliliters. In one meter cube it's equal to 1,000 letter. Alright guys, for our next activity, we are going to solve numbers using conversion factor of a basic measurement. We will apply the indicators of time, length, mass, and volume. Okay? Are you ready to do solving numbers using conversion factor in application of the different units of measurement? Okay, let's try this one. Alright guys, so I'm gonna show you a simple problem on how to convert numbers for length. Now, we use a basic number and units to convert this one to millimeters. Now, we will solve this step by step. What do you think? How many millimeters are there in 160 centimeters? Alright, so first thing, copy this number and then write the unit at the top then put one at the bottom to make it fraction and then we will use multiply sign okay to convert numbers on the other side on the other side we are going to write the unit okay at the bottom one centimeter so we know already the corresponding number of one centimeter is equals to 10 millimeters all right so here now what is next we are going to do this one by canceling the unit both sides now what is the remaining unit we have millimeters right so what is next we are going to solve this to make it the final answer 160 divided by 1 is equals to 160 10 millimeters divided by 1 centimeter so it equals to 10 millimeters now we already cancelled both units at the top and at the bottom both sides and the remaining numbers are 160 times 10 millimeters okay so 160 times 10 is equal to 1600 millimeters now here is another example about measuring mass. So how are we going to convert this number? 
we are asked to solve this by converting 109 grams to kilogram. How many kilograms are there in 109 grams? So, this is the way how are we going to convert this number. Just write get a number which is 109 gram. And put number 1 at the bottom. Then use the multiply sign for conversion factor. Alright? Next one, we were asked about kilogram. So, here in 1 kilogram is equals to how many grams? There are 1000 grams. Now, what shall be done next? We are going to cancel out both units, alright? So, unit at the top and unit at the bottom. So, the remaining unit is kilogram here. Let's proceed to conversion factor to make the final answer. 109 divided by 1. 109. What unit is being left? So we have kilogram. So right over here. So 109 divided by 1000 is equal to 0.109 kilogram. So there it is. Here is another problem about converting numbers when it comes to measuring time. Always remember about the rules of conversion factor. Number one, write the given. Take note about the important units. Then, both sides must have the unit at the top and the other side must have a unit at the bottom or it could be at the top. Now, let's convert this number. 16 hours right use the conversion factor which is a multiply sign and then put an hour here at the bottom so in one hour how many minutes so there are 60 minutes all right now what are we going to do next we're going to cancel out both units in both sides since the unit of hours is being cancelled in both sides so the remaining unit is minutes all right here now to make the final answer 16 times 60 how much okay so it is 960 minutes so there it is final answer so that's the way how are we going to convert from hours to minutes. This time, we will do a conversion factor about measuring volume. So the number is 4.5 liters, how many milliliters? Let's try to convert this number. How many milliliters are there in 4.5 liters? Okay, so again, copy the given number and write the unit beside it then write one at the bottom then proceed to conversion factor which is a multiplied sign then write letter at the bottom okay so here and then we know already what is the corresponding number of one letter how many milliliters so there are 1000 milliliters right what is next? So remember, we need to cancel out both units, okay? And then the remaining units will be milliliters. What is next? 4.5 divided by 1, that's equal to 4.5. Then times 1000 milliliters. So the correct answer here, the final answer is 4,500 milliliters. So when we are going to convert 4.5 liters to milliliters. This is the end of our topic for today, all about basic units of measurement and its conversion factor. Alright guys, please don't forget to answer your quizzes and assignments at the Google Classroom in the AP website. 
Thank you so much for listening and I hope you're going to apply those conversion factors by following all those basic indicators of measuring time, length, mass, and volume. See you next time and stay safe!